Okay, so let's move on to Rebecca today. So I've done Bible studies um, in my walk with God throughout my life. Um, I still feel like I have a lot to learn. So 32 years of walking with God and I'm still learning. So Rebecca, um, hardworking, generous, her faith was so great that she left her home forever to marry a man she had never seen or met. Yet she played favorites with her sons and failed to trust God fully for the promise he had made. That she was barren for the first 20 years of her married life and that she never again set eyes on her favorite son Jacob after he fled from his brother Esau. Esau. Esau or Esau? I think Esau. Um, so that God had gone to extraordinary lengths to pursue her, to invite her to become part of his people and his promises. So I can relate to this myself where God pursued me. Um, he pursued me, I mean, a million times over. I just, I cannot even put into words how much God has come after me. Relentless to pursue relationship. And this is what he does. The Bible is basically a story of God and his love for his people. So, um, yeah, so one of the first things that had happened to me, like I said, I was a little girl. I had a great aunt who talked about Jesus. One of my favorite stories is when um, Peter was walking on the water and Jesus, um, he got his eyes off Christ and started to sink. I remember seeing that picture of Jesus, um, you know, just pictures of Jesus flooding my mind and, and a picture too of Jesus walking on water and seeing how powerful he was. So he was chasing me since I was little. Um, let me see. Another time was when I was working, um, I went to Concord Academy hairdressing school. I was pregnant with my firstborn. Didn't think I could have kids right after a forced abortion. And I graduated while being pregnant and, I also, um, I was working a lot. So I was working at the common man restaurant while going to hairdressing school. And I was working at a salon and dairy to start my business before I got pregnant. So, um, when I was in the salon, um, I just met this woman, Carla thought she was Diff kind of strange to me, different, because I was very much into the world. She was different. She would talk about God like, you know, just like he was right there. And I thought, oh my goodness, she is weird. So um, she invited me to a uh, picnic. I thought it was a normal picnic. People were taking out their Bibles. Really kind of strange to me. So that was my first kind of taste as an adult. Um of, you know, other people believing in God before I was invited to church and got saved. So God pursued me there. He pursued me. Um, I almost didn't go back to this church because someone thought, the person who brought me thought they weren't very friendly. I was like, oh, I think they're fine. You know, I didn't have any expectations of church because I hadn't gone there. So, you know, uh, so I didn't have any expectations. So I was like, you know what? I, I'm fine. So this person didn't go back. I went back. Friendliest people ever um, reached out to me. Uh, very kind to me. I had a lady come up to me and be like, oh, your baby's so cute. And I mean, my babies were like perfect as far as how cute they were. And I'm not being biased. The cutest babies around. So, um... She's like, you know, so we started talking and she mentored me later on. And then I had other women mentor me, but, um, he chased me there. If I wouldn't have gone back, I wouldn't have heard the gospel. So the second time I was sitting down, heard the gospel. And then, um, I had somebody say, you know, you should be baptized. And I didn't really understand baptism, but another church in town was having the baptism, so we went over there and I was baptized right away without really understanding it. Um, but 
when I was baptized, I was pregnant with my second son. So that was in 94. And so he, I joked, he was baptized because I was pregnant with him. But, um, and then, you know, God just kept chasing me. I mean, if it wasn't people talking about God, it took a little while for me to grow in intimacy with God. It's, you know, now to the point of just daily seeing God with, you know, just little things that I love that he sends my way. So God will pursue you and uh, he will chase you because you are his.